What is up, 925 Gamers? Today's episode, we're going to focus on the defensive scheme of the week, part two. Today's episode is going to focus on our base man look. Base man coverage, always good to have a man-to-man defense. Uh, combined with your base play, combined with your zone defense, combined with your man blitzing, all that. But today, we focus on the man, bl- man defense. As we know, favorite man coverage in the game, two men under. Nothing different here. Two men under from 3-4 over, very effective. What we like to do with this one, though, and, and this is um, a little different than all the other ones, we like to base align it. Um, shift our D-line to the left. We like to crash our D-line out. We're going to go ahead and um, quarterback spy Franklin here. We're going to take this uh, Werner. We're going to put him in a buzz zone. And um, the beauty of this is we're going to flip it to the side of the halfback. So, for example, say that they flip their formation. And the halfback's on this side of the field. Then we're just going to flip our entire setup. So we're going to flip the two men under. So, um flip it so now this guy's blitzing and we're going to shift the d-line to the right crash line out qb spy franklin qb pur- or, uh, purple zone angerer and now this is your user player okay depending on what side of halfback on that's all it is because halfback's typically going to run a, you know a curl flat route whatever the spy will be there you can use in the middle this allows you freedom to do whatever you want with your user player uh, so that is why i like to do that um these rush angles are, are pretty decent, um, and again, if he runs a little swing pass or whatever, uh, there's Zam probably want to get a game, uh, but this is kind of what we're looking at, base man coverage-wise, so um, that's what we've got, uh, two man under, pretty simple, but you do want to call it in conjunction with your stink pin zone.